We really traveled around and had 24 hour, seven day a week intimate access with our characters. And I think that's what makes this film special. It's not just this portrait of people going into war. It's a, por it's a full portrait of these people who do this sort of extraordinary work, but in the end, they're normal people just like us. I'm Katie Shevney, and I'm one of the co-directors of E-Team. Hi, I'm Ross Kaufman, one of the co-directors of E-Team, which is playing in Sundance. The film follows four incredible human rights workers who do this really fascinating and unusual investigative work. One of the things that Ross and I were really interested in was the kind of behind the scenes aspect where we get this really intimate access into these really interesting characters' lives and we get to see what their home life is like as well as their work in the field. One of our main goals was to make these characters relatable and to feel like we sort of could get to know them. We were aware of the work of Human Rights Watch, an organization that monitors human rights abuses around the world, but we weren't sure if there was a film there, you know, about this organization or about anyone in the organization, and we decided to focus on their emergencies team, also known as the E-Team. Once we met the members of the emergencies team, we were so amazed by how different they were, their personalities, and just their way of being in the world. And so then we were like, now that's, that makes it really interesting. Like, then there's something to watch. Anna is from Russia, and she's just really tough, really feisty, really smart. And then Fred, he's a guy, he's from Brooklyn, um, very meticulous, very kind. Peter, he's Belgian, and he's very tough, kind of more, our most sort of swashbuckling character. Um, he's very frequently in the public eye. And then Ulla, who's Norwegian, very serious, uh, always follows the rules. He's Anna's husband. So we really kind of had this like, colorful cast of characters um, that made, you know, just felt kind of cinematic just when you're hanging out with them, you're kind of like, are these movie characters or what? You know, there's a little bit of that to them too. We follow our characters mainly in Syria and Libya, um, but they work all over the world. We weren't interested in making a piece that was just like a hero worship piece, even though their work is quite heroic. But we really wanted to show them as real people. And so our effort was always to like bring out the humanity of the work they did and of them themselves as people. In my experience, in the most painful places, there is that moment of joy or humor that comes out. And I always feel like that's very important to show. It's human, it's what we all experience. We didn't want to just make, we didn't just want to like amplify the news about conflicts in Libya and Syria. We really wanted to more get at uh, how real people engage with what's going on over there and how they feel about it and what, what they take from it and how it changes their lives and how it makes them feel. And that was what made it interesting to us and made it feel like a film.